Good evening and welcome to our fifth in a series of L2L Listening to Lind Coffeehouse Concerts. We're glad you've joined us. Tonight we have a unique and wonderful uh, concert given by Mark Lowry, who is an incredible percussionist, uh, one of the best around in, in the city. And if you're expecting 20 minutes of drum playing, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised and will not hear the drum playing. But I'll let Mark explain the instrument he's going to uh, uh, perform with, and uh, I know you're going to find this a fascinating and wonderful evening of music. Again, welcome to L2L Coffee House Concerts. And now we hear the beautiful rendition of Mark Lowry. that was written about 15 years before the American Civil War, at a time of some prosperity in this country, but a time when the gap between the haves and the have-nots was ever-widening, and the political tensions that would soon bring this country to war with itself were ever-increasing. Stephen Foster's Hard Times Come Again No More. Somehow it just felt right to play that. Well, thank you for joining me. Uh, for those of you who don't recognize me, unless I'm sitting behind a set of drums, my name is Mark Lowry, and I'm coming to you from my working home studio. The music I have for you tonight, I hope, will be something a little uh, new and engaging for your ears. So, again, thank you for joining me. The next thing I'm going to play for you is a piece entitled Three Movements for a Solo Dancer. Now, I'm going to apologize in advance. There won't actually be a dancer, uh, but... In these three separate movements, you're going to hear music that at times is a little bit abstract and mysterious, at times is more evocative, at times it's more driven and energetic, and there may even be times when you imagine that you hear the click of a dancer's shoes on the dance floor. Please enjoy three movements for a solo dancer.
playing for you is called a marimba. Think of it as big brother to a xylophone. It's laid out in exactly the same pattern as a piano keyboard, except here, instead of black keys and white keys, I have wooden keys and they're all the same color brown. But if you can find your way around a piano keyboard, then you can find your way around a marimba. The last two pieces that I have for you really have not much in common, if you think about it. The first of them, written over 300 years ago, the second, written about 15 years ago. The first of them was not even written for the marimba. In fact, it was written for the violin originally. The second one is purely marimba music. These two pieces really don't share that much in common. They're not alike in concept, they're not alike in character, but one thing they do have in common is I think they both sound beautiful on the marimba. So I'm going to leave you with these last two pieces. First, I'll play for you my adaptation, my transcription of Bach's Siciliana for solo violin. And following that, I'll end with a piece called Land by a Japanese composer named Takasugu Muramatsu. Thank you. 
Wow, what a wonderful evening of music. What an incredible gift. Thank you, Mark, for uh, sharing with us beautiful music that we can use our imagination as we move toward Easter during this Lenten season. 
We have one more of these concerts next week, and we hope you'll join us at the same time. And again, good night.